hope you're doing well out there today this is a special day for me i bought my second pair of bumba twos more specifically the dirty gray ones from spring summer 20 the spring summer 20 collection a while back i reviewed the spring summer 20 collection and this was one of my favorite colorways obviously the red one was one of my favorites as well Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find that one in my size, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. Hopefully you've seen my review of the Bamba 2 Gore-Tex version, right, comparison. So this one, this color is called Gray Tones Patina Gray, and this color is called Dirty Gray, right? Really looks dirty in my opinion. So I asked you guys on Instagram if I should pull the trigger on this colorway. And most of you said yes, so I went ahead and bought those. And I have to say they look very different from the product pictures. They look way better in my opinion. That's always the case, right, with those artisanal products. They look different in person than they look on product shots. And most of the time they look better in person, in my opinion at least. As you guys probably know, with this one, I went with a size 45 and a third. And that's really hard to find size for some reason. The biggest one that was available with this one was 44 and two thirds, AKA half a size smaller than the other shoe, but they fit fine. And for reference, like in Nike shoes, for example, I'm a size US 12, which is a 46. So I would say to run a bit smaller than like Nike or even like regular Salomons. I have Salomon running shoes and I have a proper 46 in them as well. And as I said, this is a 44 and two thirds. So we're gonna look at this shoe in more detail. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about the fall winter collection from uh, 11 by BBS and Salomon, right? A couple of days ago, they dropped the new product pictures and there's some pretty cool new editions of the Bomber 2, for example, but also like new models and stuff. So stay tuned, stay tuned for that. But for now, let's focus on this beauty here. So as I said, it's a dirty gray color tone and the product pictures, they look kind of like rusty brownie-ish, kind of. But now here in person, they look more like a soft bleached burgundy mixed with gray and some black. And then the dye on the midsole is one of my favorites as well. So this is the second shoe here for comparison. Obviously each shoe is unique, which is pretty dope. And obviously since this is a spring summer shoe, right, the, the upper is gonna be more breathable, especially in comparison with the Gore-Tex version here. And I really wanted one for like shitty weather that I can rock and then one for like the hotter temperatures. Obviously, it's, obviously the shoe is gonna be too hot when it's like 30 degrees outside, but that's definitely gonna be interesting. The upper feels really strong and like rigid and thick as well, which I'm really surprised of. I'm not sure if you can see it here on camera, but the inside has a lovely gray tone as well. Yeah, I wish you could touch the upper. It feels super high quality and thick. And obviously this is the same model, right? And as I said in my last review, it's like a low top running shoe underneath that outer layer here, right? Which makes them super comfortable. And a lot of you guys on Instagram mentioned that I should throw three different outfits together with this shoe. So this is what I'll do now. And then we'll come back to the final review.
as you guys probably know, this is by far my favorite sneaker of all time. And it really embodies like what I'm trying to do with this channel, right? To find the intersection between like avant-garde fashion and tech wear. And this really is the embodiment of that idea, right? You have on the one side, you have the technology from Salomon. That's really advanced technology that they have in their products. And then on the other side, you have like artisanal processes from Boris Bij and Zaberi, right? As you know, Salomon produces the sneakers, then they're shipped off to the studio from Boris Bij and Zaberi, where all the shoes are hand dyed, and then they're shipped out to the stores. So this is really the perfect combination between techwear and avant-garde fashion. So I'm absolutely in love. And this is obviously, there are many different models from that collaboration between Salomon and Boris, but the Bamba 2 High is by far my favorite. And I think that's the people's favorite in general. Super like goth avant-garde look with this front zip, but still sporty on the other side and functional as well, right? With versions like Gore-Tex material, etc. So super stoked. I would love to have like 10 colors of this shoe. Unfortunately, they're a bit too expensive <laughs> for me to buy like 10 pairs, but I'm happy with the two that I have for now. And the details are just bonkers. You see the like the overlays over the mesh material. And the waterproof zip. Right, so as I said in the beginning of the video, the Fall Winter 20 collection just dropped. And I just quickly wanna go over like my highlights. I'm not talking about all the shoes, but just the ones that I like. So let's start off with the Bamba 2 Lows. Here we have like the dirty gray colorway with a bit of burgundy. Absolutely love those. Next up we have like a, again, a gray version, but kind of has a blue tint to it. Looks cool as well. Probably wouldn't buy them, but pretty, pretty cool. And then for women, we have the pink version. I'm not sure if they might even have it in big sizes for men as well. Not sure, but this is probably a more of a women's shoe. And then obviously, my favorite model, the Bamba 2 High. Here we have the dirty gray version again. This one looks a bit darker, right, than my one, but pretty, pretty dope. And then again, the same gray with a blue tint. Definitely an interesting color. I probably wouldn't buy them, but for winter, like when it's snowy outside, I think it's kind of a cool look. And then we have the Bamba 2 High in pink as well. If I were a woman, I would probably go with those. Pretty cool. And next up we have, again, the same collaboration that we had last year between Salomon, Boris and Gore-Tex, which is pretty cool. So this is basically my colorway that we see here, but with like a sort of like a burgundy rusty sole. Pretty cool version as well. And then next up we have again the blue tint, the gray with a blue tint. Pretty cool color. So as always, like all the models come in the same colors, right? So you have like three, four or five different color versions and then every model comes in those colors. My highlight probably, or definitely the most interesting one is the Bamba 3X, right? You've probably seen the, my review of the Bamba 3, right? Pretty cool shoe. The Bamba 3X seems to be a new model with a new, I don't really know what it is, like a strap on the top of the shoe. Pretty, pretty interesting. I absolutely love the first colorway here. We have like a dirty gray again with burgundy. The second color is more like a stealth gray, which is not my favorite, but still cool. And then we have, again, a more like a blue tintish kind of gray with burgundy as well. And if we look closer at the strap, could be a Velcro. I think it's Velcro. Yeah, definitely interesting. Not as cool as the Bumper 2 in my opinion, but cool to see a new model. And I prefer like the higher high tops over like the Bumper 5 or something like that. Yeah, those are my highlights in my opinion of the Fall Winter 20 collection. There are a couple of new colors uh, with different models like the Bumper 5, etc but I just picked the ones that I prefer. Now in terms of sizing, I feel like the Bamba 2 is pretty consistent within the Bamba 2s. If you have a colorway of the Bamba 2s that fits you, most likely every other colorway will fit the same. I found like huge discrepancies between the Bamba 2 and the Bamba 3, right? The Bamba 3 fits way, way smaller than the Bamba 2, which is really confusing. And I've talked to a couple of store owners and buyers, um, and I asked them like, why do you only order until up to size 44, right? Which is so confusing because obviously I'm a bigger size and I don't have like huge feet, right? And they said, listen, I order all my shoes up to size 44, right? Because they don't know that they fit way smaller than like regular shoes, right? If you buy like 
leather boots. In leather boots, I'm like a size 44, but in like regular Salomon shoes or Nikes or whatever, I'm a size 46. And I would need like a 45-ish with those. And most of them, like they don't even know that they fit smaller than like regular shoes. So that's why they only order up to 44, but some stores carry 44 and two thirds. Was lucky to find those. But 45 and a third is getting really, really difficult. I bought those at Hyde M in Munich, right? You can check them out. Pretty cool store as well. And they have bigger sizes sometimes. And those I bought at Sibas Descalzo, right? Pretty weird name, but pretty cool shop. I'm really happy. The price was pretty decent as well. And it's super stoked that they have, that they carry like my size. And the color is just so beautiful, right? It's, it feels like a warmer kind of gray obviously dirty but muted and oh yeah just it's the perfect colorway in my opinion I absolutely love those over the moon with them with my new purchase and yes thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did smash that all like button down below subscribe to the channel I'm releasing new videos every week these days I'm releasing two videos a week one on Wednesday one on Sunday, yes, Sunday. And yes, thanks for watching and see you next one. Cheers.